In this episode of Performance Car Refurb, all of the hard work in prep pays off, as now it's time to paint. In Performance Car Refurb, we follow two fourth-year apprentices as they learn collision repair tips as they refurbish a Nissan R32 Skyline GTR, a hero and modern classic of the performance car world. This R32 will soon have the show to match its go. So previously to this project, I've never actually done a full respray on my own. At work, typically everything that we do is between one to three panels at most. So to do a one job that takes up three booth loads, <laughs> that was a mission on its own. Very eye-opening as to how many parts there were to actually paint and how many small corners, crevices there were to get into. It can be very difficult sometimes to get into those small areas without creating run sags or even dry spray. Thankfully, I had a lot of help from the team here at 3M. They have a lot of people here who know what they're doing. I was really able to rely on them for their advice in this instance. Previous to this project, I hadn't used the AccuSpray for anything more than uh, Stone Guard or Sound Deadener. Wasn't too sure how the AccuSpray would actually hold up. There's a bit of a stereotype about it being a plastic gun and being very disposable and not maybe being able to with, withhold the pressures of day-to-day -day use. But my opinion very quickly changed. <laughs> I found just in one booth load, just being able to just pull the whole thing apart, toss it, just clean the needle, snap on whatever you've got to do next and you just go along with it. This week we work on the paint side, utilising our 3M AccuSpray 1 spray gun and 3M PPS2 system. One of the things I wanted to get across to Maxine is that this particular spray gun can be used on all aspects of the spray. So from high fill primer, base and clear coat. Change the nozzle out to the particular um, product that we're spraying and the cleanup is so much quicker um, and without any solvents. So the finish on the car that we got with the AccuSpray was actually really good. I was really happy with it and I was really pleased with what actually came out on the car. I did need a little bit of advice, I think, in the beginning. They have such a variety when it comes to using it and it feels just like using any other spray gun. So one of the main techniques that I learnt from painting a full car was that I had to actually keep a wet edge from start to finish. So that was actually something that I had to get used to as I went along with it. Luckily I got a bit of a, a, bit of a test run when we high filled the car because it was the same technique just with primer, then we did the same with base coat and then the same with clear. So I did ask a lot of people a lot of questions on what they would do, what their approach would be and I definitely took it all on board. So the PPS 2.0 system is a disposable cup system for your spray gun. One of the benefits of doing a, a big project and having the PPS system is being able to make up two litres of paint and just being able to put it all in cups. That way you take it all into the booth. Once you're done with one pot of clear, toss it, snap on your next one and you keep going. There's no pause or delay, particularly when you're trying to paint and keep a wet edge over the whole car. I now have a huge respect for anyone who does restoration work. Uh, it is a lot of work. <laughs> it is a very big task in order to be able to do restorations and even refurbishments in this instance. In our next episode of Performance Car Refurb, we begin the D-nib and buff stage. 